Hello everyone. Greetings. Welcome to How to Valence channel. This is DBA Valence Train. Today in this video, we are going to see few tips in Power BI. They are how to integrate Microsoft Excel with Power BI, how does Slicer works in Power BI, and A in Power BI. We'll see each of them. As usual, as we start our lab, I just wanted to list down the steps, but there is not much steps here. Uh, we will just load an Excel into the Power BI. That's what is normally an integration. So when we say integration, when you update something in Excel, that needs to reflect in Power BI. That's what I meant in, meant, meant by saying what is an integration is. And then the data that we loaded, we will use Slicer to reduce the um, volume of uh, data points that we will see. So we can focus on few area and uh, we'll have a global view. So that's what the slicer do. So we will see how to set up a slicer. And then we will also see how an AI works in Power BI. I think Microsoft made Chat GPT part of the Power BI and Microsoft other many other Microsoft products. And here we are list we'll see how in Power BI the Chat GPT works. All right, let's get started. I already have my Excel data open. This is a random seed data. You can see here I have data range from 8th to 20th uh, January 2024, uh, five minute sample data, and you can see the data points. It's a random seed data, has no useful real life meaning. I just wanted to show you the A prediction or how the A works uh, in summarizing this information. All right, so generative AI, simply what I'm trying to say is. So this is a graph, this is the same graph we will see in Power BI using the Power BI visualizer. But then on the slicer and, then on the slicer and the AI starts working in. So I got my Power BI also open. So first as part of Excel integration, let's load the data. So go here, Excel workbook. And I need to open the Excel SX format. Remember Microsoft 97 to 2003 Excel, you need a separate um, driver. Otherwise it will not work. So we chose test lab Excel SX and we need to choose the sheet you wanted to have this visualization working. So I chose sheet one. I'm loading my data. <coughs> it will take a few minutes. All right, so based on your machine configuration may take a few minutes so it's loaded all right let's see how the data looks so you can see here data will reflect in a minute yeah it reflects fine so now let me go in here and let's start visualizing the chart so if you have more than one sheet in your excel you probably have to choose the sheet you wanted to have the data visualized here right so remember i chose the excel workbook I wanted to reflect here. I didn't pass the data manually. Okay, that becomes an input point for me. All right. So you know how to actually get timestamp data summarized. If you if I do it like this, it will not probably show me proper information. <coughs> you can see here this doesn't gra give me any information properly. So you should never choose the auto um, hierarchy. You need to create a new hierarchy. So. So this will probably will show you the information. The same graph you saw in Excel is reflecting fine here. Now let's see how to set up a slicer. All right, I have data from 8th to 20th January, but I don't want all this data. So how do I do? I need to go to a filter and then I need to apply filters here, isn't it? It's a data fields, sort of filtering, but it's a very time consuming operation. Right. So now if you wanted a slice to work on this for you, let's expand this. In the other ways to get this one properly aligned. All right. So the chart is very much visible. Now I need one more slicer. Slicer is also a chart. Huh? So we will pick up this information. Now it's a fielder right 
so if I wanted to apply filter I think you can choose from here to here you can see the graph again alright so you can see like this so but I don't want to do this manual operation right I wanted something to do it for me so I have this slicer you see here this is slicer I just click on slicer now you see I have the data now being sliced through every day you see the above graph will adjust now if I wanted to go to 11th gen you see here 11th or 10th gen too it's from 10th gen if you wanted to change it to 11th gen if I select 11th gen I have my data available from 11th January until today and if you wanted to reduce the data set towards the end I will choose that accordingly you can see the graph moving back and forth right so this is how the slicer works so now I hope you understood what a slicer is and the next thing we wanted to see is the AI so I click on this graph and you have this option to summarize summarize is the generative AI so it will start collab collaborate I mean collecting the information or narrative and just give it a minute to populate see some of the value trended up resulting 54.55 increase in Monday January 8 2024 to Saturday 20 2024 so it the average value just went up by 54.55 percentage this is what it says from January 8 until 20th January 2024 now I don't want this uh, 20th January data to be accommodated or I don't want this flat 8th to 12th or uh, 13th January I want an information only about 12th January onwards in that case as you do normally you just select your slicer and you can see this data changing 30.778 now became all right you can adjust the end also you can probably put it to 18th so you can see this now three values so sum of value trended up resulting 44 46.15 percentage increase from January 12th to January 18 sum of value trended up uh, from Thursday January 18 and you can see there is also a steep jump uh, steepest incline this is very important okay this is very useful in in case we are assessing or performing any performance issue assessments so sum of value trended up uh, by rising 310 percentage in 3.75 hours this this graph they're talking about and also the steepest inclination was on January 18 where the data jumped from 204 to 838 so 204 to 808 and 838 or so so this is the first sample I think they hit uh, 838 yeah it pr it's it's it knows its data fine so where is the use case for this you may ask okay I'm being a DBA I was investigating one of the performance issues recently during the investigation I saw my IO response times seeing a huge upwards trend I am quite occupied all the day but I don't have time to come up with a narrative so what did I do I saw the pattern in my visuals I know it's in, I made it in very simple terms that the your response times have gone up but I need to show this to my business so I use this as an option I put I saw this graph I use this uh, slicer to filter the window and edit everything on top of it this is my starting point the generative AI is generating this information wonderfully and this is accurate as well in the same way I got my IVOR response time properly plotted by the generative AI and it, why not use a machine a machine which properly gives you some information right and you are waiting it though so it's not some uh, random information or an incorrect information here you already saw the data and you already are sure that the increase was evident and generative is just providing you some more data points with some more metric which you will take time to find it out so it's kind of generating a running average this is nice right so this is what I wanted to share today hope you enjoy this video thanks for joining again uh, we'll meet again in the next video if you really like me like this video give a thumbs up and uh, share with your friends and subscribe to how to well channel thank you everyone bye